The following is a depiction of my thought process when recreating something for a video. Hmm, Studio 9P. Okay, a uh, cool loading thing you got here. Whoa, that is way too complex. Uh, definitely not making that. Oh, let's see, you got a menu here. Oh, a couple of links. Oh, fancy hover. Now we're talking. Okay, let's uh, break this down. So we got three links. Great, let's start with that. All right, they're on the page, but what now? Oh, well, the background color is gross. Uh, we can fix that. So our links are there, but they're next to each other, not on top. Oh yeah, okay, because of uh, display value. I think it's inline or something by default. I'll switch it to block. Nice. Let's put them in the center. I'll go ahead and use flex. Oh, and uh, gotta set the direction to column. Why is it not centering vertically? I don't understand. Inspect element. Oh, duh. The body doesn't fill the viewport by default. We'll set it to 100% viewport height. What is happening? Oh yeah, it's not a line item center if you set direction to column. You have to use justify content center. Yeah, that took way too long. I might consider renaming this video to amateur. Okay, some padding would do us some good here. Font color, white, font size, bigger. Hmm, do I really need to account for screen sizes that small? Yeah, I guess it would be smart to clamp the values. Okay, font family next. Uh, Google fonts, scroll, scroll, scroll. Scroll, 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 scroll. Permanent marker, uh, yes, please. Underline, no thank you. Wait, why is there a scroll bar? Oh yeah, okay, body has a margin or padding or something. Get rid of that. Borders, uh, top border white. Last one has a border bottom that's white. Gradient in the pseudo element. Content empty, so it shows up. And I want it to not affect any other elements, so position absolute, left zero, top zero, height 100 with 100, linear gradient to the right from transparent to blue. Wow, that looks absolutely beautiful. Position relative on the parent, fixed. Multiple colors in the gradient. Material colors, uh, blue, Let's make a root variable. Light blue, another root variable. Use the new colors in our gradient. Now, uh, no gradient by default, and the gradient slides in on hover. So with zero, on hover with 100. Need to transition the width. Let's try uh, one second ease, uh, too slow. 800 milliseconds, mm, still too slow. 600, nice. And the gradient shifts on mouse move. Mm, JavaScript. We'll need a mouse move listener, so we'll loop over the links, add the listeners, calculate the mouse position as a decimal. Looks like the color percentages are constrained within a range, so we'll say a minimum value of 80, max value of 100, that gives us a range of 20. That would make the adjustable percent 20 multiplied by the mouse position, which I converted to a decimal. And then the final value would be the base plus the adjustable. How do I update my CSS? CSS variable? Let's give it a go. Set the value, update the CSS. You good with this? Yeah, I'm good with this. Show them another video? Yeah, let's show them another video on how to make a super cool website header in two minutes. Wait, I can do that? Sure can.